Uh, greetings, Virgo, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're all well, and let's dive right in and see what the cards have for this a reading, a general reading for you uh, for whenever you find this. And so it is. And this is what I have for you today. Well, Virgo, you come into this reading with uh, the emperor. You're on your throne, you're bossing up. Uh, you're becoming uh, the creator of your own reality at this time. Uh, this is a very powerful card uh, to step into this reading with. You have gone through the battles of, of life. You've um, gained all of that energy of the, of, five, of the four kings, and you're the a fifth king, basically, the emperor. And you are taking command. Uh, this is a card of Aries might be involved, but you're commanding your life at this time with a lot of uh, um, power and structure. You're building uh, systems and working with others and uh, being very uh, much the leader of your situation. That's the energy now. And it's coming with the challenge because of the Four of Swords. Well, the challenge to the emperor is taking time out to rest, to pray. You look like you have come from this long, weary battle at the war of life, and now you're resting. Um, and you're getting some guidance from your ancestors. There could be an older person uh, that is helping you by giving you a blessing um, or giving you some advice. Uh, but it's time to heal, uh, and that healing could be an obstacle to a uh, bossing up, to uh, standing your ground, to really taking command. But we'll get more information, but it's the foundation is uh, the Three of Wands. You've taken this energy out, this vision, and you've been very successful. Uh, you've made a plan of action. You've already uh, established yourself to a certain extent, and maybe you're resting uh, from all the battles, from everything you've worked on recently. You could have been uh, working hard at uh, being this, this energy of the father, the dominant one, the authority, uh, the professional. And you're resting and getting ready for a new vision to take it out, to uh, see uh, whatever you put out so far, or what's coming back. And it's coming because recently you've been juggling uh, the ups and downs of life. Uh, maybe your finances have been uh, unstable and you have been having to uh, maybe uh, 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 borrow money or have to work two jobs or a feeling like you're constantly uh, fretting about money and feeling that other people maybe are up on the upswing of money and you're on the down or uh, that kind of energy of knowing change is coming and you're having to be flexible. And uh, at the crown, what you're downloading and uh, your higher powers want you to see is uh, any area in your uh, situation right now um, that you are feeling uh, in interfered with mentally Maybe you are not able to take this authority over your life. Uh, so you're kind of retreating, taking time out, resting, um, uh, having a truce maybe uh, with a father figure or with your boss. And you're still planning and having a vision, but you're having to recently ju juggle a lot. And that could be making you feel that you're isolated, uh, in prison, self-sabotaging thinking over and over to the point where um, you're making yourself mentally sick <laughs> and you're needing to pray and rest and to see that you're really not that entrapped Virgo at this time. You have blindfold on, which is meaning um, perhaps that you're not seeing things clearly. You're uh, looking too much at uh, just what you're thinking about the situation and making yourself um, imprisoned just by the way you're thinking because we can vibrate at a low energy uh, and feel that uh, we are, um, you know, so imprisoned by our own mind that we do feel that we imprison ourselves. 
I mean, some people, when you uh, speak to them, I was a chaplain, a hospital chaplain, and was in the prisons. Uh, when you speak to people who have been going through um, imprisonment, incarceration, they have often said that before the arrest or whatever the event was, uh, that they had uh, been in this self-sabotaging mode of thinking. It was the way their mind was. And so you're taking time out to pray and to get some uh, professional help. Maybe you're connecting to a father at this time. And this is coming because you've stood your ground recently and it's saying keep standing your ground. Uh, let go of whatever of uh, this imprisonment, this mental conflict, feeling that you're being interfered with and stand up. You've gone through the battles. You, this is another a card where there's almost like a blindfold on. But you're uh, persevering. Nevertheless, you're getting out of this uh, feeling of overthinking. You're needing to rest your mind, to heal, to pray. And as you rest, you can keep on going. But there is a sense right now you have to persevere and maybe be a little defensive about where you are because you're thinking about the emperor. Um, maybe you're feeling like Virgo, it's time for you. Uh, the feeling, the juices have dried up and you wanna put on your travel cloak of passion and go toward your a true destiny, what you really want. Maybe to go after, see with the same kind of red cloak toward uh, this vision, what you put out there and you want to move towards something that's more fulfilling in your heart. Uh, you have a change of heart. And it's because of the environment, there's so much fighting and um, bullying and a feeling of uh, winning and losing. And that's what the environment is bringing up for you. And maybe you felt like uh, that you had to win at all cost and could have um, maybe used some illegal means that made you feel entrapped, imprisoned. Uh, you might feel like, well, this battle's not worth fighting, the one I'm fighting with the environment, and so I'm gonna just walk away from uh, this battle. I've lost heart. I don't wanna fight anymore. And you're taking control of your own life uh, and moving forward away from that bossing up, being the authority over your own reality. And that is going to lead you to the empress. And you've got the emperor and the empress. So that is a powerful combination of the divine consort. So that's the inner masculine and feminine. Um, so you have both the exterior power and leadership, authority, but also that inner a mothering energy of nurturing and giving and receiving love and the mother and child reunion and a lot of beauty uh, in that. And <clears throat> then you also have the Ten of Pentacles because this has to do with the legacy that you're working on. And with the emperor, uh, you will have this abundance uh, an inheritance is coming, maybe from a father figure, Virgo, uh, that you have had some fighting and you maybe wanted to move away from this. But the advice is, well, you've got another five. Uh, the advice is, well, um, there is going to be some fighting, some conflict, some quarrels. These are uh, two fives, so uh, that is um, difficult change, but it's coming. And it's going to bring this legacy, nevertheless. And uh, that's what I have for you, um, an incredible reading. As you uh, start with uh, the emperor and you end with the ten of pentacles. So this is power, dominion, uh, authority, leadership over your uh, wealth, over family money, over money that's shared. And you're having to boss up to that situation. And uh, that's what I have for you. A beautiful reading for my uh, Virgos. And if you like the way I read, please leave me a comment. And a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. 
and sending you love out there today. And so it is. Bye-bye.